Shooting in the high frame rate in the Canon EOS R7, you can shoot in Canon C-Log. Hey guys, well today I wanted to check out the high frame rate mode in the Canon EOS R7 for shooting video. Because I'm in a power region, I can take it up to 100 frames per second in full HD. If you're in NTSC region, you can shoot up to 120 frames per second in full HD 1080p. Now bear in mind, while you do retain autofocus, you do lose audio. So if that's gonna be an issue for you, perhaps it's not gonna work. But for me, it's really great news to be able to have a high frame rate option within the mirrorless camera. Usually for that, I have to either go to the GoPro or to my phone. So I was quite excited about this feature and I wanted to give it a test out. I'm gonna show you some of the footage. Today, I went to the football locally at a a sports park to see some, I guess some junior grades playing, but it gave me a great opportunity to test out the high frame rate mode and see what the footage is like. One thing I will say is you won't find the high frame rate in your usual movie record size, where you select whether or not you want 1080 or 4K or how many frames per second you wanna shoot. You actually have to turn on the high frame rate mode, which bypasses that movie record quality setting altogether. Now, the interesting thing that I noticed was that once you record in this high frame rate, and then you import the files onto your computer, they don't show at 100 frames per second, or 120 frames per second, depending on what region you're in. It actually shows as 25 frames per second. So when this first happened, I thought, oh my gosh, did it even work? Did it record in 100 frames per second? But when you play it, both on the camera and on your computer, it's already converted to 25 frames per second. Now, if you're in an NTSC region, perhaps it converts to 30 frames per second. I'm not sure, I tested the PAL version. Now, there is a possibility it might adjust the shutter speed to suit the high frame rate based on the 180 rule, but for me, I just set it at 1 200th of a second to accommodate the 180 rule where your shutter speed should be twice as fast as the number of frames per second you're shooting. So yeah, and as you can see through this footage here, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, it's not bad, it's full HD. It certainly looks better than what the GoPro will give me, so from that point of view, I'm pretty excited about it. One thing that I did was I turned the high frame rate on, adjusted all the settings, and then registered it as a custom function to allow me to easily switch into video mode and jump to C2, which happens to be the custom mode I've set it to. You can set it to whatever suits you, and that instantly pops the camera into that high frame rate mode, so you can switch between your resolutions and your frame rates quite easily using the custom functions. You don't then have to go back into the menu every time to manually adjust it. When you flick into that custom mode, it automatically applies the high frame rate. When you flick out of it, it automatically deactivates it. Wow, pretty cool, hey? And so yeah, that's just about it. What do you think of the footage? Let me know below. Is the high frame rate of interest to you in the Canon EOS R7? If so, let me know below as well. Otherwise, have a good one, and we're gonna catch you next time. Bye.